So today I thought it would be fun if we just dropped by Philadelphia. That's right, I literally dropped by Philadelphia for the weekend. Just for the weekend, how weird is that? Did she just say what I- Wonderfully weird. So on my way to Florida, I had done a Philly cheesesteak video in Philadelphia airport where we had a stopover and a lot of you were very disappointed in that video. Oops. So I felt like I owed it to you, even though I actually don't like Philly cheesesteak, to go and try the best Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia. Also, I apologize in advance for being a big baby about eating the Philly cheesesteak, but you know, at least I tried it. Even though I know I don't like it, I tried it. There is no try. Now, please know that this is a subjective thing. When you ask people where the best Philly cheesesteak in Philadelphia is, you're gonna get an array of ideas. A lot of you guys were giving me the heads up that some of them were way too touristy, and some of you guys suggested some more local ones, but then other people said that I had to go see the touristy ones because they were the famous ones. So here's what I did. As you can see, I went to a bunch of different places to try and decide which is the best Philly cheesesteak. But I decided to narrow it down to two. Now, a bunch of them had queues out the door for the rest of my trip here. So I decided to go for Pat's because it was the shortest queue. And Lord knows I wasn't doing Gino's or Joe's. So we're going to try Pat's, a classic Philly cheesesteak. And also we're going to try Ish Kebabbles. Ish Kebabs. Ish, Ish, is it Ish Kebabs? Pretty sure it's Ish Kebabs. He's wrong. Uh, is it? I think ish kebabs is a thing. <laughs> okay, ish kebabs? I know you have me confused. Anyway, we're going to try whatever it's called. And they're South Philly cheesesteaks. That was strongly recommended by the people who actually live here. So we'll see who knows what they're talking about or if they even taste any different. First up, let's try the classic from Pats. In America, you guys, I've never seen, you never see that in Ireland, that queue out the door down the block because we don't have blocks, but also because we just, Irish people don't queue. Like we don't do queues. Americans love to queue. It's like your favorite thing. God bless America. Oh, it's dripping out the bag. This is what I didn't like about the cheesesteak before, but at least I had a knife and fork. Oh, this is tough, you guys. That means we're in this together. Oh, you know, I hate to touch meat. <gasps> Oh God, there's no avoiding it. This is Pat's classic Philly cheesesteak and it has cheese whiz on it. I don't even know what cheese whiz is, but a lot of people commented in the videos that I put up that I needed to get cheese whiz. I don't even see any cheese in this, to be honest with you. So I'd be very surprised if I could taste it. Also, it's dribbling out the bag. So that's always a, a nutritious sign. <laughs> I like grease on your thing. I like fried chicken, fried okra. <laughs> What's it smell like? It smells like uh, something a boy would like. Oh no, not like that. <laughs> Just real meaty, really meaty. I, if you don't know me, if you're brand new to this channel, I don't like minced meat. So, yay. Yay! Can you taste the cheese, Liz? Nope. I can't taste hardly anything. Just the texture of the meat. Ugh. Okay, gotta get into it more. Okay, we got some juicy stuff now. Okay, once I get past it, that's really nice. I'm surprised how fresh the bun is as well. Like it's really fresh. This one is a really, really popular tourist attraction. I don't know why. I mean, honestly, the outside of Pat's and Gino's did look the coolest for sure. And I guess they have a really good PR person because there was just people out the door. Queues a mile long just to get a ticket. Like, it is really nice. The juices inside are lovely, but I just hate to queue. Oh God, I just got a big meat bit. I'm gonna give it like a six out of 10. Sorry, a bit disappointing but not worth the hype. <laughs> okay, next up we have Ishka Bubble. Ishka Bibble. What is it? It's Ishka Bibble. Ishka Bibble. Ishka Bibble. And we have their South Philly cheesesteak. And apparently Will Smith likes this. 
Allegedly, they had pictures of pretty much everybody who's from Philadelphia up on their wall. Um, so can we trust it? I don't know. Oh, this looks completely different. Interesting. Oh, it's a lot fuller. It's got more stuff inside. This came with Paramone cheese. Paramone. Hang on. I wrote it down. Provolone. This comes with provolone cheese, roasted pepper, and spinach. Ooh, I'm down, but for the spinachy part. I'm gonna keep it all together this time, as opposed to having it fall all over me. And on a completely unrelated topic. Oh, by the way, we're on bleachers. How cool is that? I've never actually seen American bleachers before. We have bleachers in Ireland, but they don't look quite like this. Also, it makes me think of Taylor Swift and her song, they're cheer captain and I'm on the bleachers. And also, ooh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to? That's what it makes me think of, so, yeah. Oh, that's more, much more tasty. Mmm. That tastes more like real food, you know, like you'd make at home. Well, not that I'd make at home. I wouldn't make it at home, but that somebody might make at home. That so you'd order at home. Yeah. That's very Moorish. Like, I'd eat this whole thing, for sure. You can taste all the onions. And the cheese in there is really good too. That's it. Ah. Provolone. I have 3D vision now. It is meaty, but in a different way. It's not as like... Does that make sense? Or do I need a better vocabulary? I don't even have to think about this one by a mile. Dishka bubbles. Dishka bibble? Dishka bibble. Now you have me confused. Ha ha. And some. And some. Some for you. Some for you. It's very dribbly. The one from Pots is fine, but excuse me, I'm talking with my mouth full. How rude. Are you joking? What was I saying? So this one's way nicer. That tastes like the fast food version of a Philly cheesesteak, whereas this one tastes like a Philly cheesesteak your ma would make. Not my ma, I don't have a ma, I have a mum, but yeah. It is very greasy. It is dribbling out the bottom onto my skirt. But you know what, that's kind of how I like food. I feel like we need to finish it off with Philly dessert. Are we doing Philly dessert? Uh, what is a Philly planned. dessert? It's a great idea. Right. I choked a little bit. <laughs> I'm okay. Yes, I was a massive baby about trying the Philly cheesesteak, but I tried. I actually did enjoy the one from Ishka Bibbles. It's just, it's just so greasy. It's a lot, like it's a lot. I could have like a quarter of one and be satisfied. Also liking the cheese whiz as well as the provolone. Today I wanted to shout out a couple of members of Patreon by name because I feel like they don't get enough love. And that group of people really are the backbone of the channel. They give me ideas, we do hangouts every month, they give me feedback, they're awesome. So massive thank you to Aluminium, Bob Hench, Bob Scuth, Casey Trader, Charles Young, Chip Parmy, Christopher Martinez, Dave Bissett, David Whiteson Camp. Tony Claxton, Douglas Smith, Ed Berm, Eric Filburn, Gail Mead, Gary Walter, Jeffrey Miko, Harry J. Rigg, Jack Heflin, Jim Ross, John Camp, Joseph Mixon, Ken Brown, Kent Hawkins, Kevin, Kevin McLogan, LCC, Mark Littlehale, Mark Manger, NJ Old Guy, Running Joke, Sam Fuller, Scott Panko, Stephen Lowry, Stories Telling Stories, aka Eric, T. Henry Scott, Thomas Bacac, Tim Donnelly, Tom Fry, and Trudes. Thank you so, so much. For the price of a beer, you can join Patreon too, and the rewards include two videos a week, right up to your own special video, just depending on what tier you choose. Thanks to everyone, and I'll see you on the other side. Bye. Ah! That's not gonna come out. I wonder when those boys let me play baseball with them. Well, it's not baseball. Basketball. Basketball can you play baseball with <laughs> Can I, play, can I play baseball with you? You never know. Am I those people they tell children to stay away from in the park? Yeah. yeah. Creepy people with two cheesesteaks in your car. Here, you can have some of my cheesesteak. It's lovely. Don't have that one, have that one. And we're gonna come. What's it actually called? Ishka Bells. Is it? You said Ishka Babs. Did I say Ishka Bells? Hang on, I'll look it up. Ishka Bibble. Ishka Bibble? Yeah, Ishka Bibble. <laughs> okay, okay. Mm. Why did I get this? 
I don't even like this. I just felt like it was a rite of passage, like I had to do this here. Oh God. Hey, what's in this, Dan? I just told you. Hmm. I opened my hair. Oh Jesus, oh God, oh gross, oh no, oh, oh God.